when you've completed all of your input into the recap and into the estimate, then it's necessary to do a profit analysis. So Red Rhino shows you how much profit you have in your estimate. Keep in mind again, the top, this, the example we're using in the header up here is we set the markup, the overhead markup at 20% and 10% profit. So the program added 20 and 10 on top of everything, or, or all the costs, I should say. When I scroll down, the program shows the prime cost here. Displayed in this estimate is $10,623. Now below that, you can see the different categories where it marked it up. You see that the material and labor and overhead percent is marked up 20%, the quotes overhead 20%, etc. Now take a close look at this on your own estimates. It's important to understand it. But here's what I wanted, here's the point I wanted to make. Notice it shows the total overhead and profit here is $3,399. Okay? Now that's the total overhead and profit, or that's the total markup. Another way to say it, that's what's in it for you. When you bid the job, if you bring the job in uh, on budget, which is 10623 is shown in your prime cost, then that's how much profit is in it for you and your company. Now here's how you analyze that a little bit. Notice, or let me say, if you'll recall, I analyzed the labor and I determined that I had a total of 12 man days in this or two guys working on it, I had six man days. But then I went back and added another man day. So, so to analyze this, or just to expound upon what I'm trying to say, in this estimate, basically there's seven days of work. There's two guys that will be on the job for seven days. Well, there's $3,399 worth of profit. Now I'm going to get out my calculator. I'm going to type in the 33 99, 3,399, and I'm going to divide that by the number of days that my crew will be there, which is 7. So, so when I hit the equal sign, I see my calculator set, says, or shows me, that I make $485.50, or I should say $485.57 per day that my crew is working on this job. So that's how you do a profit analysis. It's very important to let the recap do its thing and talk to you about things and then do a further analysis to determine what's in it for you. So that's how you do the profit analysis.